So if you like playing, um, you know, crafting games where you grind and you build and you fight and even do boss fights, um, Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta is very addicting. I absolutely love it. It's a great game. Um, so here's a little bit of gameplay, um, kind of doing a walkthrough, definitely for new people too. Um, when I started, I didn't know anything about the game, so it was definitely a grind. It really, really was. So I hope you enjoy. This is my first video, so bear with me and thank you for watching. What do you need? Spend points. So basically you need to get some fiber and materials and just make some clothes first when you start. I'm going to go for expertise. Cap out that weight. You do not have to do that. Um, do your do your own thing. The reason why I cap this one out is I go all the way to the end. Um, I do Beast of Burden because it, <clears throat> it gives you unlimited weight, which is extremely handy when you're getting started. Um, some of you might want to do more of a strength build, which you can do that. Um, stamina right here. Authority is more thralls. I usually do that later. Vitality is a good one. Keep your health up and regen is very, very handy. Agility is basically, um, being faster. If you get down to quick footed, um, you are faster, faster pace and you don't drain as much stamina. So... But it's just up to you. So we're going to craft a bedroll. And you look over here for what is needed for a bedroll. Fiber. There is fiber in the water. Right here. So you don't have to go next to dogs and stuff and get killed immediately. Pick that up. Just make sure you don't drown. are gorgeous. Alright, do we have enough for a bedroll? We do. So you just select that. Um, and it'll put it in your wheel. Um, you probably can't put a bedroll here because this is a spawn point for new people. So we need to find our spot. And I pick up stuff along the way. Um, your journey steps you can always go to right here in your tab. Um, you're on Island Survivor now and you'll unlock other ones. Um, this will also give you free stuff and gets your XP up too. So I definitely recommend doing that. I, I never really did and I should have. <clears throat> but you get some good gear and stuff if you continually do that. So, we're going to try to find a safe spot over here somewhere. Probably a dog or something. I'm going to die. Okay, you can put a bedroll right here. I don't know if that's safe. I guess we'll find out. So your bedroll is really handy, um, you know, for spawn points. If you die, clear over there on that peninsula, um, you can spawn back at your bedroll or wherever is closer to where you want to be. Aloe is really um, important because you make health, um, little health tonics with it, and it's quicker healing. You can do the wraps um, for now if you want. Um, those are a little bit slower. These are quicker, so I usually do those and put those in my wheel. I don't want to stay away from those birds. Okay, it says gather stones. She had a rough night. I'm just picking up a lot, a lot of stuff. So watch your little bars to your left. There's thirst, hunger, weight, and temperature. Um, definitely keep an eye on that. We'll have to get some food here soon. But we're going to try to gather some stones. Sometimes they're just laying around. You can't do these ones until you get a pickaxe. There's a puppy over there. I don't want to start crap. <laughs> I 
and make sure you pick up one of these. Usually where you spawn, um, there's a sealed water skin. That'll help with thirst if you're not close to any water source. How many do you need? Five stones. Okay, now gather branches. I already did. Cheese and rice. Craft a stone pick. So go over here into your inventory. We are going to make the pick. Now you'll be able to get these bigger rocks. And if you have enough, you can make a stone weapon. We don't really have weapons unlocked, so you go over to Knowledge and tab over here to Survivalist, no, Warrior, and you unlock this one. There you go. Now you should be able to develop it, if you have enough resources. Now you have a little weapon. When it's done building, it goes into your wheel. If you have space in your wheel, of course. Looks like someone developed a little hut already, so they started out pretty good. So we're gonna slay an enemy. There's a dog over here. At the beginning you definitely get um, some resources, like XP. Um, so when you break up stuff you can see your white health for a uh, XP bar at the top. It'll give you, you know, some XP, um, but I think killing animals and creatures, I think, gives you more. Personally, I think it does. Okay, there was a dog over here. Always oh, attacking them. They're gonna kill him. Just watch your weight. I like to pick up a lot of stuff. Don't overweight yourself yourself because you will fat roll and you won't be able to get out of the way. And you'll run out of stamina faster. You don't want to aggro two birds. Is there a dog over here? I'll probably pull one bird this way. Watch your stamina. Little sword does pretty good for a start, okay. Craft rough wraps. Horse gloves, rough wraps are these right here. Those are the slower healing ones, but um, if you want your um, journey steps done, follow it like to a T. And then it says harvest a corpse with a tool, which would be your skinning knife or pickaxe is fine, but I'm going to do a skinning knife. You get better resources with the skinning knife. Alright. Looks like we got some points. I'm going to put them right in here. See how my weight kind of just dissipated too, so um, that definitely helps you get that weight up. And XP. Unlock the primitive cook knowledge. Where 
where is that at? Which I believe is your little um, campfire. I think it's right here. No? 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 Oh, yep, right here. Prim primitive cook is in your first your first bar, your first tab. And you'll select that campfire and then it's getting a little dark so we might want to stay close over here. So we have access to build this. If we have enough resources, we do get rid of that raw meat because you do not want to eat that. And it'll light up green when you can actually put it down because some of those are spawn points. So we're just going to go over here. Out of the way of everything. It says cook some raw meat. So this feral flesh is pretty common. You'll get a lot of that. So go ahead and put that in there. Um, you can use fiber or wood or sticks to run your fire and cook that up. Okay, it says eat cooked meat. So go ahead and eat that. You completed Island Survivor in your journey steps. So what you do is you select that one and you claim a reward. So this reward is a box, supply materials. And you can go ahead and use that. What did it give me? Oh, it gave me more sticks um, and rocks. So it gives you a little bit of resources, nothing too fancy. And then you're gonna go into, back to journey um, and select a new one. So you've unlocked two other ones. You've um, unlocked survival, shelter, or warrior. So we're gonna do survivor. Survival, shelter. So we selected that one, and then they'll pop up in the right what you need to do. Unlock the Apprentice Mason Knowledge. That's this one right here in your first tab. Craft a stone hatchet. We might still have some resources. Make one of those. I'll leave that in there. You can put that in your wheel, and you can go get some wood. Um, It gets dark on this map a lot in Isle of Sipta. Um, that's the only thing I, I don't, I'm not too keen on, um, it's always dark. Yeah, you can have a torch and stuff, it's just, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so just make sure you're not running into a fight somewhere. Okay, we're going to make the construction hammer. That's for building. I usually put it in the very bottom one. Goes there. And you can always go to your items and rearrange how you want them in your wheel. East. Oh, I'm gonna need a little bit more resources here. build a stone foundation so we're just gonna we're just gonna build right on this cliff because I think it'd be pretty pretty scenery I'll move that out of the way build a wall need fiber. Fiber, fiber. Oh dear. I see this tree. Get a little bit more resources. Just watch your surroundings so you don't get killed. 
You do lose, um, if you're on official servers, you do lose all your gear when you die. Um, it will be highlighted green um, when you find your body. <laughs> so you can go pick it back up, but um, you will spawn at your camp or um, back where you originally started. So make, make sure you like set a bed down that will spawn you there. So we're gonna build some walls, keep us a little safe. Um, build a door frame. What does it say? Press R. Um, I never really did this, but you can actually copy a piece and then build more walls. ceiling. Um, you can just do the flat ones or uh, these pieces right here. We can do those. I don't think we have enough resources for that really. So I'm just going to do the flat ones. You can make it look better than just like a square box. Um, you can definitely pick these ones out and make it look like a little hut. And then we're going to build a door. We do not have enough resources so we need wood and twine. Twine is made from um, fiber right here. And you can make that in your inventory. He's so cute. Nope, he doesn't want to talk to me. Seven, you can make from fiber. Oh, we got one door. Look at our cute little house here. Let's put it up. And then unlock the box maker. So you go to knowledge and you can unlock a crate. enough maybe nope need two more <laughs> of course Two more of these. Two, there you go. Can we make it now? Yep. So you can put your storage in here. So if you are overweight, you can kind of just put some stuff in here and be good. And we can store something. So you're done with survival shelter. So you got two of your journey steps completed. You select that one again. And there you go. You get an item. What did we get? We got a survival kit. So let's use that. What do you get? You get a bedroll, lasting feast, healing wraps, and a torch. I believe another water skin. 
So let's eat that. Let's put this fancy bedroll down. And this will um, remove your other bedroll. Um, if you make a bed, it will not remove the other beds that you have if you actually make a full bed. Um, but your bedrolls, those are your saving grace, especially if you're traveling and you don't have horse or something yet. They will help, so. There I have it. I wonder if we can build a fancier sword. Because I don't like mine. I thought I got one with 33 damage somewhere. Probably would need... Star metal. Surprisingly, no. I'm building that. Yep, it's that one. Um, it's a two-handed steel sword. Okay. I don't have one stick. This is a ripoff. Steal your sticks. Let's see if we can do this. I love all the options of weapons. Like, it gives me, um, definitely, a Skyrim vibe. That was, like, probably my favorite thing about Skyrim is, like, armor and weapons. All I cared about. I need steel fire, I think. Do I have steel fire? No, oh, that make me. You're gonna make this difficult for me. that anyway. What am I doing? Let's get over here. Two-handed. You do not need star metal for a 33. Health damage. That's impressive. Ooh. No light. Let me see this. Yeah, all right, all right. I like it. Oh, we can go back up on the hill and kill some more gorillas. It's always dark on this map, though. Like, it always turns to nighttime really fast. It's the only thing I don't like. Aside from that, I, I do prefer this one. You can have that. It looks like I got some points to put in. A couple more for that. Authority, I, like I said before, like definitely love capping that out to have an extra person with you. Because I'm. I'm a solo person. I like to be by myself when I'm gaming, so it's really fun. It's really fun to have a couple extra thralls. Definitely helps, you know, especially once you get them leveled up and armored up and good weapons. They can do some damage. I need a better armor set. It's like I'm shopping. Like I can't decide what I want to do. <clears throat> I don't even know what my chest piece is. One forty. That's not bad starting out, I guess. Okay, so Oh, I want that. There's a veneer armor. I still don't have it unlocked. That's that's some pretty good stuff. I don't know if this is the one. Yep, the 221 armor value. It's probably my favorite. Depends on the area you're at, too. So if you have um, an area where you do have a lot of fur or animals that will produce that with your skinning knife and stuff, it's this is a great armor set. The heavy helmet and heavy pauldron, they're great armor sets. And they look okay, you know. I care about cosmetics a little bit on armor sets, which you shouldn't. Should go off of stats, I know. But I do not care. Alright, this costs nine. 
I can't unlock it until I'm level 40. So it looks like <clears throat> we're gonna do some killing. Didn't I have a thrall? Pretty sure someone was following me. Maybe not. You think you're done? We're just getting started, buddy. Yeah, he's got his axe. <clears throat> We're gonna check these guys first. Actually, see if I can tame some thralls while we leave. Dump all this. But I need my. Oh, I must have that one. Need that one. I'll only use up that one. Swap that out. Give me back the nice one. Yes, there we go. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes your thrall will get stuck somewhere too when you call it, and you're on your own, so make sure he's he or she is right next to you. I try to aggro these guys, separate him a little bit, but it doesn't always work. Oh, I hate those spears. Serious bleed damage. And reach. Gotta watch them. I didn't even equip mine. Hopefully he doesn't spear me. That's a risk, Chaz. Actually doing pretty good with the spear. Ooh, Phantom Reach is a bit excessive. Oh, he's a Tanner. I already got one, though. You shall be sacrificed. Do I have one? Can't tell in the dark here. This is pretty gruesome when I first did this. I was like, well, that escalated. I got no glass. I need to build one of those in here, I think. <clears throat> that was a random kick for no reason. I guess she was angry. If I can see that guy in the water. <laughs> Couldn't see him earlier. He's so shiny, you can't see anything. The fish that got away. I love how the thralls just kind of flow in the air. Just, I mean, if you were really in a puddle, I think you would drown like that, but you know. Logic makes sense. <laughs> You're just gonna sit there for a while and going hunting. Get him. Get him. It's not very nice. There you go. Got a level. Set the burning 
<laughs> you think that would have one shot at him? It's 33 damage. Ow! One shot the bird. What about the deer? Oh dear. I see him over there. He's peeking. stats aren't in health or anything it's just in that so that's a reminder too like expertise if you cap that out remember you're weak <laughs> so don't go looking for trouble because you're gonna get hurt You take him, I'll take the deer. Yeah, it definitely jacks up your XP immediately. Faster than most. Green tear in there for a minute. Set with glory in your death. Set with worldly cunning. Really? Get out of the way. That's another thing. Your thralls will definitely get in your way and it's going to make you very mad. Do not break your computer or your controller. over here. I don't want him to fall off the cliff. Okay, now get him. So... The map is really nice too on this game because like central point is where you're going to get your star metal but there's no trees or many resources in that central point other than star metal um i mean you get resources like precious ones but there's no like basic stuff in that area really there's rocks um but the tree lines are literally on the outskirts of this right here basically um, and then when you start the game, you're gonna pick areas basically on these coastlines, kind of like the other map <clears throat> on the old one. But this area, 
This area is pretty good. Um, you have a lot of resources. I usually always come here. This island, island is absolutely wonderful. It's got brimstone. It's got crystal. But a lot of people build there, um, especially if you're doing officials server. Um, there's a lot of people that build here. Um, this over here is um, basically where the merchants are and the sales and stuff if you need to buy some items. Um, I think there's pets and stuff that you can have. All kinds of stuff there. But this this island's extremely good resources. Um, there is thralls on this side of it and up here in this corner. Um, back here is a pretty much a dead zone, but I, I have built there before. These areas, um, this is where I call them the gray aliens are. Um, they are where your big bosses will spawn to. Um, that's a fun area. Once you get leveled up enough, the dragons are here as well. Um, you got dragons up in this area, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it's kind of in this area if you need dragons. I actually have not delved into this area yet, so that's all kind of new to me. Um, where these guys are... Um, there is, I think there's thralls right here, and up here, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't been too much over on this area. Um, this right here is where you're going to call purges, because I don't think they're doing purges right now, but this is where you um, can call for a purge. I haven't done that yet. I've watched video on it and stuff, but um, that's where you can go for purges. But yeah, this is all, this whole side's kind of still kind of new to me. I haven't messed with that. I've been in a lot of areas in here, which is pretty fun. Um, you get your skeletons and your heavier fights over here. Um, but yeah. But you will you will start kind of on one of these coastlines, which is kind of nice. Um, this area, as you can tell, a lot of people like to build over here because of resources. But it's, it's a harder area. Um, this area I know is gloomy. It's like all ash and coal and the sky is gray. Um, I'm more of like the scenery and the, the rivers and resources over here. So I do prefer that. But wherever your, your heart desires, you can go wherever and just have fun. Um, elephants and stuff I think are right in this area. Um, some of your bigger hides, your rhinos and stuff, all in this, this kind of area, so. Make sure you check that out. Oh, and the biggest thing is that there is a storm. Yeah, you kind of see it. See, there's a storm over there. And that storm is basically this whole general area. And that will spawn some creepy stuff. Uh, big dogs, little demon-like things, but they have really good resources on them. Um, just make sure you're pretty leveled up because you'll get groups of them that will just spawn right next to you like a lightning bolt. But that's, they'll always be over in this area. Um, storm dissipates and goes away, but when that storm's going, you're gonna have a bunch of demon spawns all over you. Ouch. Long sword ain't long enough. Still don't got no stamina yet, but we'll work on that when we get our thralls. dramatic. Tree almost hit me in the face.
We got most of the gorillas. Boink. I don't know where I'm at. Is there a river? Yeah, I think so. I love doing this. There's a bird. Oh, going the wrong way, but I need this stuff. Leave me alone, gator. That's another reason why a thrall is awesome to have, because you can just kind of do your own thing and he covers your back. Just wait till you have two thralls. It's the best. See the water. Oh, when you see stuff like this, they usually have an item. There's a scroll right here. You interact with that and you learn something. And then it goes to your inventory right here. And I already, I think, have this one. Yep. Dance instructions. So every time you see this, there's some knowledge next to them. So make sure you pay attention. You'll hear that sound. Every time. So make sure you look for those. It gives you new commands or stuff that you can have your thralls do, new dances, all kinds of neat stuff. Looks like they're back already. Stuff will respawn if you wait just a little bit. Those guys are back already. Oh! Come on. Those little swords wreck that she's carrying. I helped. <laughs> the other one didn't spawn yet, so and make sure you check the chests around here. You always find more stuff. I usually grab a crap ton of stuff and then um, sort it in a bunch of cabinets. Where did she go? This is just handy to have at this right here. See how I fat roll because I have too much inventory? Don't judge me. I always remember to give their weapon back to if you're done with that. I always forget to. Gotta go through all the inventory. You can also um, change how it's sorted too. I prefer up here um you can do custom by name or heaviest first i prefer heaviest first because these are the resources i'm always going through all the time <clears throat> so that's kind of handy to sort your inventory what do i need right now of that stuff and just keep these running and if you're gone like let's say you're gonna log out fill your smelters um, and put stuff in here and have them harvest or working on them while you're gone um, that really 
is awesome because when you come back you have a full set of stuff ready to go so run run the stuff before you log out run your fire too. Um, I don't really need anything right now. I need to make a bunch of stone consolidants. Already did. Resin. This one you need um, the oil or the tar from your tanning table <clears throat> and that brimstone that I was harvesting. And that will make you your steel fire. You're going to need that a lot. Um, I don't have anything else for that. She might have some... Look at all that tar. Look at that. Just put that in there. And then you have them work on that. There you go. So... Harvesting rock, um, iron ore, or brimstone definitely levels you up, but I noticed recently that gorillas and, like, killing animals, well, specifically gorillas, I've noticed really level up your, your thralls and yourself. So, if you can get close to gorillas, you'll definitely get some XP from that. So, I highly recommend <laughs> killing gorillas. I'm, I'm sure there's other animals, too, but I've noticed a huge jump in your XP bar when you get gorillas. Harvesting you get a little bit. Um, it's just not really dramatic. You can see it kind of moves just a tiny bit, but brimstone and rock definitely, you know, after a while of doing it so much, it does move. But if you really want to level up fast, um, definitely go after animals and creatures if you can. If you're low level, definitely harvesting probably does better for you at first. And killing dogs, the easier targets. Kind of like, I always try to build kind of close to some sort of resources. Don't build on them because they will kick you from the official server. I know. But just make sure that you're close to resources and it makes it so much easier when you're trying to grow your base. Alright. Bark is what um, keeps hide going. So when they're tanning hides and stuff, put bark in here. Bark is also used for drying wood. So which makes another resource right in here. Once that's dried, you put it in here and you can make insulated wood, which is used for building materials. I do know that shaped wood you use a lot of though. Um, if you just put wood in there, it'll make shaped wood. If you get a good thrall, it goes a little bit faster. So it's definitely handy. rocks in here. You can make bricks and you can do metal bars. So make sure you get those smelters up right away. Okay. Stone consolidant is how you make the hardened bricks so you put that in one of your smelters and you just run it after bricks are already made so that's really nice because a lot of the better building materials <clears throat> will use those
So these are really handy for storage. I really prefer these <laughs> because they hold more. Um, you actually can um, make them right here in the, the artesian bench. Artesian, artesian. Um, I think they're available right here. They take reinforcement, iron reinforcement and regular wood to make, which is nice. And they're kind of like a decorative thing as well, but they are definitely handy. You can do your basic storage as well. Like these, they cost, I think, a little bit more though. A little bit more wood. Right. If you get a good enough thrall, they will do this as well. So if you do basic iron reinforcement and steel fire, they'll just do the straight steel reinforcement, which is super handy instead of having to put, you know, steel fire in one of these with metal to make those and then yeah it's just quicker so if you can get a even just a level three blacksmith that's super handy okay this one we're gonna transition this over here Oops. so i will put this in there excuse my overloaded inventory I fat roll when I'm trying to fight. <laughs> and then they will just craft it. Sometimes that doesn't work when you push, like, if you're using controller, push Y and it won't make the full thing. So just craft one and then click Y. <laughs> then it will go. Sometimes it takes a minute. It's just so relaxing to just harvest stuff and beautiful scenery. <laughs> it's like my little getaway. But if you want to go do boss fights and kill stuff, I mean, you can do that too. So it's awesome to have that many options playing this game. I really enjoy it. It's whatever your heart desires. It's beautiful. when you do these you get a little bit more XP than stone if you watch your top bar you'll see the difference trees you get a little bit but not much metal brimstone um, ice um, black ice even um, some of the if you use your scythe like aloe gives you a little bit of XP more than the it looks like the metal even um if you get these little yellow flowers that gives you a crap ton surprisingly so if you want to grind and get some xp definitely try that out So when I'm leveling up, it's really nice to do expertise um, and cap that out because if you cap that out, you can do Beast of Burden, um, which you have unlimited like weight, which is really, really, really handy. Um, everyone kind of does their own thing, which is totally fine. If you prefer your XP to go somewhere else, it's totally fine. But right away, I focus on um, expertise because once you cap, cap that out, you put your points somewhere else, but you get unlimited carrying, which is nice because walking slow is very annoying. <laughs> and as you can tell, I have a lot of inventory that I need to sort. So we're going to go 
kill some gorillas. Let me go put this stuff away. So after harvesting, I usually drop all my inventory in, you know, um, these little safes or something, whatever works. Or I have stuff running usually while I'm doing this, but we're just gonna go kill stuff right now. So you're not fat rolling, you can roll a lot faster and get out of the way. So he's got his axe. Um, how much food did he have? That's good. Make sure your thrall has gruel with them. Um, I actually didn't know how to make gruel for the longest time, but gruel is just basic seeds and fiber. And that's pretty dang handy. A lot of this stuff I had to learn on my own, so it was definitely fun. There's a lot of people that will, <clears throat> you know, like groups or forums that will tell you, you know, what to mix, what, how to do certain things, but it doesn't really give you details on how to make a lot of stuff. It just tells you, hey, it needs this. Okay, how do you make that? So there's a lot of good people and good community that will tell you what's needed, which is handy. I'm gonna go up here and kill some stuff. Come on, Thrall. Come on, bro. Get him. You missed. Oh, jeez. He hurt me. Keep your little tonics on ya. So those ones with the glowing eyes usually give you other stuff, but I think I did that wrong. I don't know if you're supposed to use a skinning knife or not. I don't know. They usually give you uh, demon blood. So I think if you use a pickaxe, I think you get a better amount of it, but I'm not for sure on those. I don't get them very often. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna go up here, because I know there's gorillas. We're gonna farm some hides. Make sure you have a skinning knife with you. Um, you get more resources from animals, because for the longest time I didn't know that, and I just used like a pickaxe or a hatchet or something, and when I finally got the skinning knife, I realized that you get fur, you get hide, you get thick leather, light leather, so definitely recommend the skinning knife. Everything has a purpose on this game, I will tell you that much. Gorillas just level you up fast and your thrall fast, so it's kind of handy. It's kind of nice to watch your thrall do it. So you have to. But you can jump in, I mean, if he's getting the crap beat out of him. See, skinning knife, you get fur, meat, everything. You get a lot of different resources. issue with the short sword. Never quite there. <laughs> First swing, I didn't hit anything. I'll take out the deer, you take out the gorilla. Oh, 
There's some more on the hill. You got a fuzzy butt. Look at the butt. The little butt. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get a lot more resources with the skinning knife. Well, if you want hides and stuff, if you want just meat and stuff, uh, make sure you have the cleaver. I think you also get the animal's head too if you use a cleaver. Flew off the cliff. Oh, there's some metal. So another little thing I didn't know about, um, especially gruel. So if your if your water is down, um, it also fills water. Like if your hydration's down. I I didn't know that for the longest time. I never cared for gruel. It's like, oh, food, cool. Um, it actually replenishes your thirst as well. So um, I definitely recommend having your aloe extract and gruel with you um, everywhere you go. Definitely handy. Especially starting out new, you're just like, okay. I didn't even know about gruel right away when I started. So... Found out the hard way. So, you level up your thrall as well when you do those. You can actually go right here, go into your stats, and you'll see what they're developing as attributes. So strength, 3, 50%, agility, 16, 55%. The more that they, you know, fight and stuff. Um, he's a level six now. He starts off, any, any thrall will start off at one and then they'll level up and eventually they'll get to, you know, level 10. They'll have, you know, XP points um, and it'll show you what they're, they're really good at or they'll heal faster or, you know, do more damage, but definitely level them up all the time because it makes a difference but it's nice that it levels you up when they make a kill and it also levels them up so it's definitely handy she can't reach really Bark and resin's pretty good um, to get from these with a pickaxe. I think the fastest way for me to get resin, though, is um, drying wood in those drying racks. I notice you get a lot, if you let them sit, you get a lot of resin, which you, you need for certain lumber, insulated lumber. I could help him, but this is entertaining. <laughs> it's gonna throw him off the cliff. How they sleep. Look at them. They're so cute. So they were. Now they're mean. Let's 
See, I like doing this. You come home from work or you just want to chill. I just do this. <laughs> this is what I do. It's pretty entertaining to me. Probably one of my favorite features on the game is climbing and sliding down mountainsides. I think that is probably one of their coolest features, being able to slide down giant cliffs. As long as you watch your stamina. I think we're going the wrong way. No. Who's gonna win? Oh jeez, that was dramatic. I missed. I think I killed a leaf. Alright. And these little aloe plants are definitely handy. Especially if you're starting out, you can make these little aloe drinks right here with that stuff so right there you make a bunch of them make sure you always have those with you the textures and the water and everything look just so much better on Isle of Sipta of Sipta or Isle of Sipta. I absolutely love like look at this. It's just beautiful. And these little brimstone things you get XP if you watch your top bar. You get pretty decent XP from those. I'm gonna get them all. That's it. Rip off. Try to keep that raw meat out of your wheel because you'll accidentally go over to it and eat it. And then you get poisoning. Investigator. And when you started, you know, usually on this, well, when I first started on Isle of Sipta, it looked like you couldn't, um, couldn't really build anything because the purges would just wipe you out immediately. I think you had to be, like, if you had a hundred pieces from building materials, um, they would just wipe you out. Um, so that was kind of a deterrent to me because I was like, eh, that's not worth, you know, grinding so much and they just wipe out the whole thing. I wasn't even ready for that. Purges were really aggressive, but um, I don't see them on here anymore. I don't know if they took them off, but I do know that you can 
I have never done this, but um, you can call them. If you go to a certain station, there's a place where you can get the, like, put the lessers and stuff in, and then they will actually drop purges for you. And you get really good thralls and stuff, but they are hard to kill. I don't know if I want to get rid of my fur. Fur is also used for um, veneer, vanier um, armor, which is a really good armor. Um, I would store some of that, but you can still use your tanning table, no problem. Let's actually split that and put some in here for wood. So it's not drying any more wood because I don't have any of the bark in there. So as soon as you do, it'll start drying the wood and then you actually will get resin from it. So I think that's a faster way because I don't like hitting trees with a pickaxe. <laughs> You need resin for a lot of stuff, too. Resin's also used for your stone consolidant, which makes all your larger bricks. These bricks right here. I'll put some sticks in there and have that one run. Oh, metal. He's gonna run that one. I'll give him the rest. I don't want to. I don't want to give him the wood because I want the wood so I can put it in the lumber thingy. Carpenter bench. Okay. Why am I putting it in here? This doesn't go in here. Nope. It's not all my sticks. It's not all my sticks. No. Nope. Stole a stick. There we go. So this, give him regular lumber, and he will make that. This one's like your base carpenter bench too, so you really lose a lot of the wood. So you have like almost 2,000 wood, but it only makes 186 <laughs> shaped wood. Once you get more advanced and more advanced equipment, you start making some really good stuff faster too. Depends on your thrall as well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you hit a like and subscribe on my videos if you enjoy the gameplay and want to see more how you start out or just gameplay in general, um, make sure you check out my videos. <clears throat> um, I really appreciate you guys watching. This is definitely my first one, as you can tell. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So later.